cut your materials, plastic and carbon fiber, and put everything together. What yeah. tools do you use? To well, it's mostly like hand tools, like uh, knives. Mm, like files, you know. Files and knives, yeah. very yeah. ordinary tools. Yeah, ordinary, yeah, yeah, you know, okay, ancient that's, tools. That's amazing. Okay, well, could you please now mm -hmm. uh, introduce uh, mm -hmm. each of your robots and okay. give us a brief demonstration? Okay. Uh, this robot is named Kuroino. And uh, Kuroino means uh, black one in Japanese. So he can stand up on his own and now does you know his hands. So the technology is the the knee is stretching uh, during the walk. And bowing. But he's also good at keeping balance. like this well this is uh, another one this is a uh, FT FT is a uh, first uh, female type bipedal robot I got advice from professional fashion model to uh, program fashion model walking. making poles and another one and turning around Okay, weren't those uh, little robots from Takahashi? Ah! Aren't they cool? They are cool, but not as cool as this. Not as cool as this. Let's take a look at some other commercially available robots that you can get in Japan. Ah! Here's one making a lot of noise right down on the table. This is Paro. Uh, Paro is a robot harp what? seal. He's a harp seal pup. Ah! Uh, real cute, uh, has this soft fur, under the fur, uh, full of sensors, touch sensors, that can uh, respond <coughs> to your, your touch. Um, he's got these cute, uh, you know, blinking eyes, that there are cameras in there. He's got uh, voice recognition, he responds to his name Paro, and you can give him another name and he'll eventually respond to that name too. But uh, the best thing about Paro, of course, is his cuteness. Why don't you pick him up, Matt, and see oh, how that I? feels. Well, I've been waiting for this. Oh, yeah. Isn't he great? Paro Think is used that. for uh, robot therapy in Japan. Um, don't get too close to Paro. Come on, you're going to get, you're not going to want to leave him. I can't put him down. I can't put him down. He's used for robot therapy in Japan in uh, old folks' homes, nursing homes, and uh, hospitals for sick children. And it's been scientifically proven that when you interact, give me the Paro, when you interact with Paro, he uh, reduces your stress levels. Even though he may scare you a little bit, uh, they can measure stress in hormone levels. And um, patients who interact with him, like I said, feel more, feel more chilled out. And their caregivers also are more relaxed. In fact, he received the Guinness Book of World Records certificate for the world's most therapeutic robot, Paro. I feel more relaxed already. So do I. I feel totally chilled out and loose. And uh, thank you, Paro. You're amazing. Yay! I think the next robot that we're going to show you is another um, animal robot. And um, here he comes. His name is um, Ibo, and Ibo is from Sony. Okay, don't run away with that no, one. No, I won't. I'll try. <laughs> Ibo is from Sony. Ibo is a robot dog. Oh, uh, listen to him panting like that, just like a real robot dog. A real ro dog, I should say. Um, he is so cute. He's got sensors all over his body. Um, he's got two microphones, one in each ear. Oh, and there he's going to get up for us. You woke him up. Woke him up. He's ready for action. You can pet him on his head there. He's got a touch sensor there. Oh, he likes that. Look he at likes that. that. Oh, yeah, he's real ginky, chipper uh, this morning. Uh, right on his back, too, is another sensor. 
Not quite as furry as Pyro, <laughs> but, uh, as furry as Pyro. but an equally satisfying. Yeah, he's also got a camera in his nose and a, a distance and uh, obstacle sensor there, and one in his chest, and a little speaker in his chest too. So he's kind of walking around. It's, it's fun to see him walk around your home. When he's running low on juice, he recharges himself uh, in his battery station. Uh, he just squats down there and, and gets all powered up for the next uh, uh, adventure that he has in your home. You can use these little flashcards with commands on them and you put them in front of his camera. And um, now he's going to do a little dance for us, an Ibo dance. Check him out. <laughs> Complete with musical accompaniment. Exactly. Which is something most dogs can't pull off. No, something that most dogs world. can't pull off. I mean, people say their own dog is warm and cuddly and everything, but, uh, you know, this guy has his own soundtrack. He does. It's amazing. And uh, he won't tear up your furniture. Or make messes on the rug. Make messes on the rug, and you won't have to take him out for a walk either. It's a, I, I just love Ibo. Can't get enough of him. Oh, um, good dog. He was such a hit when he was launched um, in Japan. Um, he sold out in about 20 minutes. They continue to um, evolve each generation of uh, Ibo, uh, and their personality also, its personality grows and changes the more you interact with Ibo. Um, he's such a, a cute little dog. I wish I uh, had about 20 of them, but um, one is just enough for the time being. So next robot we were going to want to show you is a different style of robot. It's a humanoid. Here. I'm going to get it from the table here. There you go. And this one is called Isobot. Now Isobot, as I said, is a humanoid. It's uh, human shaped. I'm going to turn on the remote control and turn him on. Oh, do I get to control him again? You this get time? to control him again this time. This is a big privilege. It is indeed. Here we go. Isobot has come to life. A little bow. Yeah. Very polite. They're all polite, aren't they? They are. He's more polite than you. No. Um, <laughs> he's ready for your command, he says. Okay. What's uh, my command? Let's, let's give it a shot. So, why don't we uh, point it at Isobot and see what he can do? Okay. If we push one and then P. Okay. And then go. Go. With a big X. Oh, he just did a neat chopping movement. Let's try one and K and see what one that does. One and K. Go. Robots don't always respond when they're supposed to, of course, and uh, it's fun to uh, wait for them to respond. Check out that amazing kick. That was pretty cool. Uh, another thing you can do is if you put them into another mode called special action mode, you go, I want special action mode. Next one. Okay. Let's try B and go. See what he does. Gonna get down on the floor. What's this? And do some uh, floor routine here for us. He's rotating his arms. Check it out. Wait, he's break dancing. Break dancing. Actually, maybe it's more like calisthenics. <laughs> Check it out. Well, he's better at this than most humans are, too. I, I, I can certainly not do that. <laughs> Another routine that uh, I want to show you, also in special action mode. He can also do uh, entertainment routines. I'm going to do A, B, A, B, go. Oh. He does a western routine. Is this the Wild West on the tabletop? That's right. Make my day. Dirty Harry. Having a shootout with another robot, maybe? I, I think he's having a Matrix-like <laughs> moment here. Oh, check it out. He got hit. You got me. You got me. Backing up. What's gonna happen? Nice shot, Pilgrim. John Wayne. He's, he's full of great moves. And the Sergio Leone soundtrack. The Sergio Leone soundtrack. You gotta love that. Um, he's also uh, playing dead right there. But now he's gonna get up for us and go back into his ready position, ready for his next uh, his next move. I love Isobot. Uh, he's from Tomy and um, comes with a remote control right out of the box and he's ready to go. Well. You know, if you thought that um, Ibo, our dog robot, was, uh, was cool with his dancing, wait until you see this next robot. It has a real gift for music. It's called the Toyota Partner Robot. Hmm. Have you ever seen the Toyota Partner I Robot? I have had the privilege. It's, it's an amazing, amazing humanoid machine. It plays the trumpet uh, just like Dizzy Gillespie. Uh, we have some footage of it here. Check it out. <laughs> 